welcome to my channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and also ring the bell to be notified of every future upload. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd do something just a little bit different, but something that I felt like it would help you get to know me as a person as well as possibly let me learn more about you if you choose to share those things. So today I would just be doing a simple get to know me tag. I'll just be probably talking about a little bit more about me and who I am, where I came from, who I started my YouTube channel, just things like that. So if you would like to learn just a little bit more about me, just keep on watching. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is how old I am, my background. So I am currently 23 years old. I just celebrated my 23rd birthday in November. I actually posted my video announcement for my vlog, uh, Vlogmas on, the, on my birthday which was actually pretty exciting. I know most people are like, oh, you feel for your birthday. Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> but I'm 23 and I am originally from Texas. Um, I was born in Fort Worth. I was a military baby. So when I grew up, I was on the military base and um, my dad was in the military. So that's where I originally came from. But now I am currently in Tennessee. As you all know, of course, I do have my YouTube channel that I just started and what started me being like, oh, I'm gonna make YouTube videos now, is I was watching so many, and I mean so many, so many hamster videos that I was like, okay, I just gotta have my own hamster channel. I was like, something about watching them is the most relaxing thing and it gives you so many ideas. And it's just really nice to be able to see what other people do with their hamster cages or like what they were doing with their pets that it made me be like, okay, I want to be able to share mine as well. Because, I don't know. I, I don't think mine's like top notch, of course. But it's definitely, I don't know. It's not top notch, but I still try my best to make it for a video. So, when I had my first hamster, Chubbs, of course. And he lived to be about a little over three years old. And once he got a little bit older, I was like, okay. I was like, I can do this. I was like, I think I want to go ahead and start filming the video. I think my first video I've ever filmed was a natural hamster enclosure that had the IKEA detolf. And, you know, it wasn't a bad video for the first one, but it was, it was something. And I was like, okay, I think I can do this. I was like, I'll probably try again later, but I don't know if I'd be really consistent with it because I'm really too busy. I was in college and I was working full time basically. And I just didn't think I had enough time set aside to be able to have a YouTube channel, even though I really wanted one. So I would film maybe like once every two months. It was just very sporadic and I wasn't doing that as well as I wanted to be able to do it. So I basically took a break from it for a bit. And once I was, well, once I was starting to finish college and I started working from home, I was like, okay, now I think I have the time to be able to start filming for YouTube videos. And here I am now, basically filming a video for every single week. I know I missed up one time during Vlogmas. I was supposed to film and have a video up from the 25th of December, and then this was the 24th. And I did not, just simply because I did end up getting sick and I get really, really bad migraines. So, that's what happened during those days. I was literally in bed on, I believe, the 24th or the 23rd night like of December that night. And I was like, I got to have a video. I was like, I don't have a video ready for the rest of my days. What am I going to do? Because like, my head is killing me. I can't get out of bed. I get up. I feel sick. And I was like, what am I going to do so I can have a video up? Because I'm really hard on myself if it makes sense to be able to accomplish everything I wanted to do so when I realized I wasn't actually going to be able to do it and I had no way to film a video I was like wow I can't believe that two of my favorite videos for that week of vlogmas was not going to be able to get posted and they really sucked to be honest because my favorite two videos I was going to do a because I don't think I saw other people do this video I'm completely off track but after this story I'll continues talking about me but um after but one of the videos I believe the 24th video was going to be one hamster three box openings so i was basically gonna get turbo 
And then I was gonna do a video with um, Ryan though. Of course, same video, just both of theirs. And I was going to put them in like a little area, like a closed area, of course, and have three different presents in front of them, but wrapped up in like a little box, like a cute little Christmas box. And I was gonna have the hamster basically choose which present out of the three that they would get. So whichever box they want to first would be the present, their early opening Christmas present. And I thought it was like really fun and creative because when I was a kid, we used to always open up a Christmas gift um, the night of Christmas Eve. So I thought I would be able to basically bring that to my hamsters in a fun way. So I didn't get to film that, which is really upsetting because I was looking forward to it. And then, of course, the December 25th um, video was just going to be your normal hamsters opening their Christmas gifts. So that was really upsetting that two of my favorite videos I couldn't even get to do just because I was so, so sick. I've had Chubbs, my first hamster. He was a Syrian hamster. And he's went through the absolute journey with me, I guess we could say. YouTube wasn't very much of a thing. Well, YouTube was a thing, but not exactly for like your hamsters, like your small pets. It was more like BD vlog type related content. So he went through the journey with me. <laughs> Let's just say that. But thankfully, he was able to live long enough to be able to enjoy me when I had way more knowledge then. Because, let's be honest, I, we know, I'm not going to, like, talk bad about pets my employees or pet co employees. But we both know that, um, sometimes they're not very well acknowledged on certain things. So, I listened to one completely from the food to just everything and maybe after a month or two i was like i was like hmm i want more for his cage i was like his cage this is like me without watching it i was like hmm i want more for his cage i want it to be bigger i was like i want it to be nicer and i was like why he always gotta eat the same foods every day why can't he eat something else so that's when i really started researching and lo and behold, I was completely wrong on what the hamster care needed. But enough about like the hamster side of things. I am currently in college for my business association, business associations degree. <laughs> and I was supposed to be graduating in th this month of December. Well, I was supposed to be graduating this semester, which would have been in December right before Christmas. But a lot of things happening. <laughs> Long story short, it's not happening. So I won't be graduating until January, March, April, May of 2022. But after I finished school, I was going to obviously continue my degree and become a veterinarian. I had a love for animals probably since I was in about middle school. I knew what I wanted to do. It didn't take me very long to realize what I liked to do, what I loved, and everything like that. So I was like, yep. I'm being a veterinarian. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no other options for me. I just want to help animals. I always feel bad for them whenever you see like the wrong things doing to them. I was like, I'm, I'm just going to be here and I'm just going to help them. And here I am, 23 years old, and I still have the exact same passion for them as I did back then. And I still have the love for them as I did back then. So I do want to become a veterinarian, hopefully open like my own Maybe like a little shelf, like a small shelter, because I know they're very expensive. Um, I want to open like my own little small shelter. Maybe has like a little waiting room or a cafe in it to where you can like be around bunnies or like cats, dogs, just like different rooms for like different animals. Because in the future, I do, like once I move out, which I do plan to do next year, 2022, fingers crossed. I do hope to have two bunnies. <laughs> I want to keep as many i want three max hamsters like all at once right now i have two i would love to be able to have three um uh, i would love to have guinea pigs guinea pigs bunnies hamsters i would love to be able to have a cat one day of course i love dogs i would love to have a dog as well i don't want any fish fish are just very high maintenance and honestly if you can take care of a fish really well they're hard I've had my own fish, I had guppies, and I thought, oh, this would be so easy, they're so cute, blah, 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 
and they did not last very long and honestly i felt so bad because i was like i just really ended your life i'm sorry i'm sorry like i'm sorry you had to come back with me but yeah this is just a kind of a small get to know me tag i just felt like it i always like it when youtubers do a get to know me tag just because you actually do feel like you get to relate to them a lot more and different things so if you have anything that you want to share about you or any similarities that we might have feel free to just obviously drop them down in the comments down below i absolutely love reading the comments and engaging with everyone who engages with me it's just really nice to be able to start to like build some sort of community it's just really nice to be able to see and I absolutely love enjoying, absolutely love hearing everything that you have to share with me and all the y'all's hamsters and how they are. And it's just, I just really enjoy it. So thank you all so much. I actually have an idea to do once I reach 100 subs. I do think I want to try doing the giveaway. So I think right now I'm at like 49. So I'm like halfway there. But I do want to give do a giveaway at 100 subs. So of course, once I reach 100, I will um make the video about that and show everything that you'll be getting if you're the winner but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you enjoy this video be sure to come back next week uh, it seems like i post every friday or every saturday at two o'clock or one o'clock it just kind of seemed to happen that way who knows if it'll stay that way but this is just what it is right now but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to come back and i will see you all hopefully in my next video bye